Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering Python namespaces. And then I will explain what is built-in namespace, local namespace and global namespace. Guys, I have uploaded a complete Python programming subject tutorials. I will provide link in description, you can watch from there. If you are watching this video for the first time, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. Namespace is nothing but collection of different names. That means we must give different names for variables or functions within the program. This is example, I want to perform addition between 10 and 20. So I am storing this value 10 in variable a and value 20 in variable b. I took two different variables. And whenever I write here print a plus b, I will get output 30. For example, if I take here same variable name for two different values, so I will get wrong answer. So definitely we must take different variable names within the program. Not only for variable names, even for functions, we need to take different function names within the program. This is meaning of namespace. Namespace is nothing but collection of different names. Let's consider this example. Here there are two modules. One is first.py and another one is second.py. This module first.py contains function that is fun. Inside function fun there is statement that is hello. And similarly second.py this module contains function fun and this function contains statement that is print btec. Inside command prompt I written python3. And whenever you write python3 and you click enter, it will open python. Now I want to import these two modules. So whenever you write here import first, it will import first module. And whenever you write here import second, it will import second module. For example, I want to print btec which is present in second.py module. And this btec is present in function fun. So whenever you write here function fun, as well as this module first.py contains function fun and second.py contains function fun. So whenever you write here fun, this program will get confused. Either it should print this function or this function. So in order to overcome this problem, we need to include module name. So this function fun is present in first module. So whenever you write here first dot fun, you will get output hello. And whenever you write here second dot fun, so you will get output btec. That is why we need to include module name before writing any function name. So just I written here first which is module name dot fun that is function name. So in order to resolve this ambiguity, we must include module name before any function name. Namespaces are classified into three types. They are built-in namespace, global namespace and local namespace. I will explain each of them. In order to check all predefined names of built-in objects available in python, just you need to type this command. Just write here dir and open brackets. Inside dir function, you need to write underscore underscore built-ins underscore underscore. This built-ins attribute will represent predefined names of all built-in objects available in python. So this is my output. All these error names comes under built-in objects and again compile, complex, copyright, credits, all this comes under built-in namespace. So global namespace consists of any names in python at any level of the main program. This is definition of local namespace. What is local variables? Variables which are declared inside the function is known as local variable. The function uses the local namespaces. The python interpreter creates a new space within the function in execution. That is nothing but it will create namespace within the function. Guys, this is program for local and global namespaces. Here at first I written num, where num is variable name that equal to int of input of enter number. Whenever I run this line of code, I will get output enter number. And here I can enter any integer value. For example, if I enter here 2, whenever I enter here 2, then I should get output whether this number is even or odd. So inside this print I written even odd num, where even odd is function. Inside this I written here variable that is nothing but num. This is function. I am writing separate code inside this function. So at first I written here def define. This function name is even odd. This function contains only one argument that is num. So I written here even odd num. Now inside this I am writing separate code in order to print whether number is even or odd. So whatever the parameter that I written inside this even odd function that is num. We call this num as global namespace because we took this num outside the function. So we call it as global namespace. And inside this I written n equal to num that means that mean I am changing this num to short name that is n. Now we call this n as local namespace. Variables which are declared outside the function is known as global variables and variables which are declared inside the function is known as local variables. This num is declared outside. So we call this num as global namespace. Now I changed this variable name num to n. Now we call this n as local namespace. 
and if we divide any number with 2 and if we get remainder as 0 so we need to return even number else return odd number here i given 2 so 2 1 or 2 remainder is 0 so i will get output even number this is program for global and local namespaces